Hey, what's up you guys? I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this video because I don't know why I really, really enjoy talking to people that uh, may struggle with this, um, but it is very difficult to really navigate conversations with people who struggle with this, but I'm gonna help you deal with taking correction. Listen, taking correction is not as bad as you think. Now, mind you, you may say to yourself, I'm good with correction. I don't have a hard time with it. But you'll notice in how you react to people when they give you feedback. You'll notice that you always have something to say when somebody is just trying to tell you, hey, you should think about doing this this way. Or if anybody comes to you with any type of criticism or feedback or correction, sometimes you don't always respond the best way. Sometimes you may make it personal. Sometimes you may throw things back in other people's face. Sometimes it just doesn't feel right with you on your inside. You feel all crazy. Sometimes you may feel accused. Some people may feel attacked when they're getting corrected. There's so many things, but essentially how you know someone's not really too good with taking correction, they always have something to say after they're corrected. And I'm not saying something simple as thank you for that. I'm talking about well, uh, I just, I feel like, I just, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just feel like where you come from, it's okay. I'm going to help you out today. And so no one has to know you're watching this video. So even if you feel ashamed for watching this, don't. Everybody struggles to some degree with receiving correction because, you know, we all want to be right. We all want to do it right the first time. And it does feel a little uncomfortable when somebody says, hey, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> so check this out. Diagnosis always comes before treatment. You can't treat anything that has not been diagnosed. You can't treat nothing that hasn't been assessed. You can't treat nothing that has been admitted. You can't treat something that you do not see. So essentially, when you want something to be treated, you have to first admit that there's a problem. So the first thing I need you to do is just right now, just admit, you know what? I'm going to be self-aware enough. I'm going to be humble enough. And I'm going to be secure enough to say, I could work on taking correction better. And you're saying that because you want to be a better leader. You want to be better in ministry. You want to be a better brother or sister. You want to be a better boyfriend or girlfriend. You want to be a better spouse. You want to be better you. And if you want to be better, you're going to need to be corrected. And I love this quote. It says, some people would rather be killed by praise than to be saved by feedback and correction. Listen, all the validation and all the affirmation is great. Although we would love for everybody to have all good things to say about us, don't look at correction as a bad thing. But those who you correct, it's safe to say they might love you. Another word for love, per se, in the Bible is love corrects, love warns. Love isn't just simply affirming and saying how great you are. Love is also saying, hey, listen, this is what you can change. This is what you need to fix. This is how you need to do that differently or better, more effectively. And if you notice, the language of correction is for you. Now, something that I used to realize when I was younger is that when people corrected me, the ones I didn't really receive from were the ones that I felt like don't even know me like that. Like, you don't even know me for real. Like, where is this coming from? Like, you don't really watch anything I do. So how did you gather that? Like, you're not really invested in anything I do. So what makes you think I'm going to just openly receive what you have to say? Um, now, granted, that may be a legitimate reason why I do it, but everybody's so different. Everybody has different reasons on why they may not always receive correction. Now, this video isn't particularly why you may not receive correction well, even though I may do something like that. So that can give you some more clarity into who you are. But I want you to know that it is critical that when you're being corrected, that you remain silent. The best way for someone to really receive anything, especially when it comes to correction, is that they just listen. Because you can hear them, but did you listen to them? And if you listen to them, even when it doesn't feel good, you could take something great and it'll only make you better. And I know who I'm talking to, you want to be better. You don't you would never sign the line that says, I'm, I want to get worse in life. No, you want to be better. The way you're going to be better is through the avenue of correction. When you're corrected, it's a blessing. The Bible says God disciplines those that he loves or he corrects those that he loves. He chastises those that he loves. But the essence of that is correction. So when God corrects you, don't look at it like God's mad at you. No, God is saying, 
I'm taking you somewhere. And in order, to, in order for me to escort you there, I need you to handle this. Your attitude, I need you to handle that. Your tone, I need you to handle that. How you speak with people, how you deal with people, I need you to handle that. How you respond to correction, I need you to handle that. Because where God has taken you, that will sabotage it, see? How do you really look at the things that are being corrected in a good light? You don't have to read a 10-step book. Just think about it like that. What is hindering you here will stop you from going where you want God to take you. So if you really want to get to where God is taking you, let God correct you. Mm. Let God correct you, friend. I really pray that you really understand that correction is for you. No matter what voice it's coming from, you could take something from your haters and you could take something from your supporters. The first thing you need to do when you're taking correction is to simply sit quiet. The second thing you need to do is say, thank you for that. That's all. It doesn't mean you agree. It doesn't mean you're aligning to what they're saying. And it also doesn't mean that you're not going to go take what they said before God. Say, thank you for that. And then also take it before God. When you take correction before God, God is either going to confirm it to you or he's going to show you that you can just disregard it. But what you don't need to do is explain yourself to that person, explain to them why, what you shoulda, coulda, woulda, what I, what I meant was, and listen, thank you for that. And go take it to God. God, this person said I have an issue with my tone. Is that real? God, this person saying I'm not easy to work with. Is that real? God, this person saying around me, it's like walking on eggshells. Show me, is this true? But let's say you're saying, oh, I have trouble listening to God. Listen, ask some of your closest friends, the people that really love you. Say, hey, you know, so-and-so said that I, I could be a little moody. Do you guys agree? Now, some of them may be a little scared because they know you, but tell them I'm giving you permission to speak freely. Because some people may want to tell you certain things, but they haven't because you're not too good with correction. You don't want that dynamic of friendships. Because then you'll end up thinking everybody's fake, but no, they're probably scared of you. Or sometimes they think, just to keep this a good day, we're not going to say anything, but you don't get to grow. You may not have people in your life that's going to be bold enough to say, oh, no, that's you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I ain't afraid of you. But give the people in, in your life an opportunity to speak into your life as well. I love you, God bless you. I pray this blessed you, and I pray that you're encouraged. Hey, listen, we talked about a lot in this video. And as much as I would love for you to share with a friend and like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff that I really appreciate, I really want you to do one thing. I want you to spend time with God. I want you to talk to him about some of the things that we talked about in this video. I want you to really take before him and, and just spend some time with him. Spend some time with him. Talk to him about what we talked about. Enjoy your time with your king. Praying for you. Love you.